Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a C++ program using nothing but your browser, an internet browser. I'm going to use Firefox. So, <clears throat> uh, you don't have to have an IDE like Visual Studio or Codeblocks to actually be able to write C++ code. And a lot of times students will have issues with different IDEs or maybe their computer dies on them or something and they don't, you know, whatever they just need, or they can only get access to a browser. Maybe they can use their family's computer, whatever. As long as you have access to a browser, you can write C++ programs. So let's see how you can do that. The key is that you're going to use an online IDE, right? So I can say, online C++ um, ID or compiler or okay so I did a quick duck duck go search for online C++ IDE and I get all of this stuff okay so let's let's just go ahead and pick some let's try one so I'm going to click on this very first link and I get something that looks kind of like an IDE right so let's give it a try and then we'll just explore the features. We'll explore the features and see what this what this does. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with a empty source code file, and it's already named main.cpp for us. Well, that's kind of good. Uh, but anyway, so we'll just do hello world, right? Because we can do hello world. We can do anything. Uh, well, a lot, we can do a lot anyway. Okay, uh, so. If we can do a hello world, and that'll that'll make us feel pretty good. That uh, you know will give us a decent level of confidence that this could work for say programming assignments. So hello world, I'm using Firefox to write a program. Okay, and uh, that's that. Now let's take a look at some of these options here and see if we can figure out how to compile this thing. So I've got this save file to disk button. Looks like there I can just name my file, whatever the heck I want, and then uh, save it. And that allows me to do a uh, download. So in case you can't see that by clicking on that icon, it brought up a Explorer window that allowed me to save the file to my desktop or wherever I chose to save it. Okay, um, but anyway, so we've got that. I've got a share button here. Um, let's see here. I've got a open file from disk. So that must be how you open the file and upload it for you to be able to work on. Over here, I've got this drop down menu that allows me to choose between a whole bunch of different languages, actually. Got a dark mode, light mode. Uh, I got some settings over here. That allow me to control the IDE. Let's see if you can actually see those. Yeah, you can. Perfect. Okay, so cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so we got all kinds of things we can do. Now let's take a look down here. Check out that run button that says F8. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit run and we'll see what happens. Hello world, I'm using Firefox to write a program. Looks like we've got uh, success. So what about command line arguments, right? Or what about input? Let's let's test that. Okay, so how about we just ask the user for a number? So yeah, enter a number. Okay, then we'll see in X, and then we'll see out you entered uh, X. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and run that and see what we get. Okay, so it says enter a number, it's waiting for me. Can I go down here and type? Uh, 13, hit enter. Yep, you entered 13. So we can interact with our program right from this window down here. Now, if this was a homework assignment or something like that, we can go back up here, hit that save file to disk uh, option, which is the little uh, floppy disk looking icon. Click on that, you get your save, then you can either, you know name it whatever you want, and then save that to your wherever you want. So there you go. Uh, so it looks like mission accomplished. 
So there you go. That is how you can write a C++ program using your browser. So you don't need to have Visual Studio. You don't need to install any software. If you got a browser, you can write C++ programs or as you saw, Python programs or, you know, whatever. All you have to do is find an online environment that uh, you can use like this guy right here. Okay, uh, so that's everything I got for you in this video. If you thought the video was useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, well, you got that thumbs down video as well. Please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how I did in the video and consider supporting the channel in multiple ways. We've got memberships with special perks or additional perks for as little as 99 cents a month. Always appreciate a subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.